Hey yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Josh True back in the other So basically Hello, over there Josh is your boy Chris. Aiden's over there somewhere. I don't know where he went. But um basically it's our third day at Camp Hazen YMCA. It's our second third, second full day. Second full day. Second, second, full day. second full day. Basically everyone's tired and wants to go home already. Uh, it's really wet and rainy, so it's shitty out. We don't really like it. But, you know, we're still trying to work through it. Um, I got to so many of friends, like Dillinger and Evie and Fisher and all of them. Just come back. And then, basically, so basically, I got to see everyone that I used to be friends with. That was in my day group last year. It was fun. Um, yeah, I'm a vlogger now. So, boom, boom. Hey. I have my hydroplast. And I, but basically, um, yeah, I got closer with this kid named Ken. Never thought I'd be really friends with him. But, like, now we're really close. And like, yeah. Walking. So that's about me. Here's Alex. Yo, how long have you been talking? A minute and a half. Me too. I put people to sleep. What's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, Josh, how was the vlog? It's pretty saucy. Oh, they call me the next Jake Paul. What are you writing, Nate? Oh, cool. Oh, yo, what is that? I said these guys are done. I'll give you the privilege of showing you my design for an outer space rocket ship in that book. Okay. You guys should be very excited. Alright, I'll be back in like 10 seconds. See you guys later. It's morning on Indigo. We're here with the boys. Uh, last night we actually slept out here on the pavilion because our counselor was a horrible snore. This kid's on 10 milligrams of melatonin and he woke up. So you know it was bad. My I voice is kind of dead because Bro, I've been screaming. Yeah, yeah. But, Same, my voice <laughs> but like, I don't know, he is cool. So cool. He's kind of cute. Cool. Cool. Sean Kelly. Boom. Look at Mia. This isn't even my oh. vlog. Hi. Everyone's coming. We're vlogging. Everyone's coming up. We're like really vibing out here. Uh, we'll see you guys at breakfast. We vlog. Yo, guys, back here with the vlog. Josh. Hey yo, welcome back to the vlog boys. It's your homeboy Josh True. Out here booing and drooling in the trap house. Um so yeah, we're gonna go climb that. It's called the leap of faith. Um zero out of ten would not recommend without an adult. Or at least it's the support of fifty kids. <laughs> Um, Evan's mom doesn't love him. That was me. I was just having me. I'm standing here and I hit you on that side. It was Daniel. Uh, well, whoever was through that, your mom doesn't love you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, my dad left me. What? Oh, that's tough. So yeah, his mom is um dead now. Not my fault, actually. But yeah, it's kind of sad. I need a spotter, so yeah, a ladder holder, and I'm gonna show you player. my homeboy Cooper. I will spot. Climb. Ladder holder. Sorry. Oh my toes. That's Antoine right there. You've met him before. There's Aiden. There's my cuddle buddy. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, I'm behind us. Yeah. No, Danny's gonna do that. Aiden, can I like zoom in on this? No, you cannot. I don't know how to do that. Well, we'll find out if there's a mistake in about five minutes. There's Evan. Looking kind of cute. That's not appropriate today, so we're gonna blow that out. Blair said that I have a good French accent when I say it. Wait, how do you say it? Just right. maybe. Just my beef. Just maybe. Just my beef. Just my beef. Just my beef. Just my beef.
Hey yo, what's poppin' it's your homeboy Josh you back with it. Oh fuck me. Yeah. Um I mean back with another vlog. Stop touching my ass. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Your nips are getting hard, man. Today we're doing the giant swing as you saw from Danny's earlier vlog. My water broke! This is Owen. I'm giving birth. You Hi. Welcome. Oh, welcome. GoPro, turn off. Go kill yourself, Ben. Look at that. Look at that water, man. That's trippy. That was a funny joke. Just kidding. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Not funny. Did I ask? No. Then shut the fuck up. Alright. So Ben just made us go away. I don't like this. Maybe it was Yo. What's popping in the hood? Um. Really? Um. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that how you do it? You just go like this? Plug off. Where the tent? Where the cones are? Okay. Bye. Hey yo, welcome back to Aiden's vlog. Today is the day of the Olympics. If you can't tell, um, my team Yellow is currently in second place. The only time we'll probably ever be in second place, but that's okay because we have the greatest captain, Evan Landa, and I don't know where the other one is, but mostly Evan Landa. And then, so today we have our four events which could decide the fate of the Olympics, but also fire. Evan, how do you feel about the fire? Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna be okay at it, but I don't know how long it's gonna take me and that scares me. Good, good, good. Um, if you could change one thing about the Olympics, what would you change? I'd change probably the new rule at the added you only get like a certain amount of time. Like, it makes sense, but it should just be back to use how much everything. Seeing the performances of Red and Evie and Alex last year, and Red over the course of the however many years you've been here, what scares you the most? I think probably Green's ability to make fires, because I know Ryan, their captain, can make a fire in like less than 10 seconds. Noah, too, can make a really good fire. All the teams are stacked for fire making this year, so it's anyone's game, I feel like. Not biased. Who do you think has the best chance of second or first? Honestly, I think if we can get yellow pumped enough, we could secure the bag and get first. But I feel like also red does have a good chance. As I'm not trying to say this to be mean, but during like the song and stuff, I feel like the judges may be a little bit more lenient towards red. But also blue does have a good amount of Dega kids. But red does have 15 Onondaga kids, so they do have a good chance of winning. And how do you plan on convincing the Tamarack, Sachem, and little kids that this is our year and that we can win the Olympics? By hyping them up and telling them that we're going to win. I didn't even know it was going to be on the not. yellow team, so I didn't even bring a yellow shirt. That's fine. Thank you for the interview, Evan. We will catch up with you later.